And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Sejuani. This deck is going to be a ramp deck where we're going to be making our things big. We're going to be doubling up our units and we got two different ways to double them up. We got a double double. So we're going to have a Tusk Raider in here that's going at the, like the top end of our decks. Going to be a Tusk Raider that can double the power and health of all the allies in our deck. And then two copies of Scythria that double all of the allies' power and health in play. Also grant them Challenger. We also got a War Mother's Call to be able to go along with the Scythria. That's a great combination, like how you can, because Scythria is a summon ability. So if you can put a Scythria into play off a War Mother's Call, that's amazing. So we have like some, some awesome top end cards, those four real powerful ones. But besides that, we're going to be just a pretty good curve out deck with good interaction, two very powerful champions with Garen and Sejuani. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So Wolf Rider is going to be able to give us the, the empty mana gems, be able to help get us to, towards this top end. W of course, for Wolf Rider and for Tusk Raider, we need to be able to turn on Plunder. So we have a few different ways to do that. Besides just normal attacking, we have Blighted Ravine that's going to do damage to the enemy Nexus, and then three copies of Ice Shard, another way to turn on Plunder pretty efficiently. Playing one copy of Protégé over the third Tavern Keeper just to be able to challenge... Uh, like for like the Aurelia Zier matchup, be able to challenge Aurelia or Sparring Student or Green Glade Duo, like that kind of stuff. It also has four health, so it's a good blocker against one ones. Ruthless Raider is it is maybe our best attacker as far as turning on Plunder goes, but then also with that tough is very good at blocking the little one ones from Aurelia Azir. We got great combat tricks with Sharp Sight Troll Chant. We got some removal with single combat. Single combat also very important to have with Garen. Um, and that's kind of about it. Sentry will give us a little bit of card draw. Three Sisters does everything. And then, yeah, like, you know, just kind of stay alive, control the board, you know, and then, boom, get these big, big cards at the top end to push us ahead and to finish the game out. And then, um, as far as finding those, because it's only, like, four of those, you know, we have, we have Babbling Bjergs that can help find our top end that can, will either draw either Champion or Tusk Raider or Scythria. So we got some good cards to draw from Babbling Beard also. All right, here we go. Let's go play our five games in ranked with Garen Sejuani. Draven Ezreal. Okay, I think this is a, you know, we'll we'll see what their top end is, but I feel like this could be a, a decent matchup. Like we have some tanky things that are hard to kill. Uh, man, I kind of want to keep Blighter Ravine plus Wolf Rider, not going to lie, and ramp into Scythria. Could also just mulligan all three of these. That's probably the safer play is just to mulligan all of those. Because two damage doesn't matter that much in this matchup unless they have all their house spiders. And, you know, keeping a 10 mana card when the game could be over before that. These old eyes still see far and clear. Fight or die. Wait, we just did that on Meme Tier Monday in all Scythria deck with every copy of her. We we did that on Meme Tier Monday. So they stun the sentry because they want to block the raider, right? So they, that's that's the smart play. So if they stun the raider, I get the free attack with sentry. So kind of thinking, do I want to use a combat trick to kill the 3-2? And I think the answer is yes. Oh man. I forgot about Cooling Strike. That's great for them. They just got a 2-for-1. That was great for them. Tall is a mountain and covered in ice! I have the best job. All right, well, opponents played this perfectly. Watch and they've learn. they've played this very very well. You know, passing there, having me tap out of pump spells before playing the drave. Like, yeah, they they played everything very well. I'm worried about playing Garen and Garen dying to a thermogenic beam or small removal plus scorched or something like that. But. 
Because like if we play Garen, they thermogenic beam it. This game's pretty much over. Probably just have to pass. We fight for those who cannot. <sighs> Sorry, did you say something? I sure are not the best against the Scorched Earth deck. The Noxian Guillotine Scorched Earth deck. Yeah, we have one copy of Tusk Rider. Makes it much more difficult to kill Garen now. Plus, I'm not really counting on them making any mistakes. Oh, man. So never mind. So now they have three extra cards than I do and all sorts of extra mana. I you'd never ask. Okay. So they did have Thermogenic Beam if I would have played the, you know, the Garen straight up on turn five. Stay resolute. So now we're only down one card and even up on me now. Okay, so saving my spell mana next round so I can go Ice Shard plus Tusk Raider. And even though I didn't kill the Ezreal, we did get like those, you know, like that's a really valuable removal spell that Scorched Earth whenever we're looking at Tusk Raider, Sithria, about to have a Sejuani, that kind of stuff. Oh man. I could just have another Garen though. Unfortunately, like we can only play one card a turn, <laughs> but these are all. Very good cards to have. And they're willing to pass to me. And not, you know, attack with Mystic Shot, anything else. It's kind of difficult not to just take the pass. Well, we kind of have to have other things in play for, you'd say, at 10 mana we win with Scythria, but we, you kind of have to have other things in play. If I take the pass, then, like, next round I'm, like, Garen Tavern Keeper. I don't think I do take the pass. I think I Tusk Raider and, and draw a 10-12 Sejuani. And then next round have 10-12 Sejuani. I don't miss. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. They'll be able to turn on Plunder. What would you have? 
A little bit more difficult to kill the 3-3 Tavern Keeper than the 3-2 Tavern Keeper. Maybe they have a Mystic Shot in hand. Oh, it's Cooling Strike. Man, Cooling Strike's just killing me. Alright. That's a good draw. Yeah, they have iterative improvement. Copy to Tusk Rider. Tusk Raider, sorry. Tusk Rider is the elephant. My beautiful face. So they're both 6-6s. Six Bjerg could draw me another thing that we could maybe play this round. Is a mountain and covered in ice. Which it did. Wolf Rider. The war mothers. Hear that bristle? Varg offers a challenge. You think that they you like they have to have like Scorch Earth in, in hand, like that they attacked with that Draven. That attacking with that Draven was a little odd. I'm not sure why that Draven attacked if they don't have Scorched Earth. Demacians, bring down the skies! Sithria? Let's go. So assuming that this Sejuani gets Scorched Earth. We also have 16 power Wolf Rider. Is it Guillotine? If it is Guillotine, they could have also Guillotined right there and then Guillotined here too. All right, that will do. That challenger. Back to the skies, Knights of Demacia. Good win. Shivana really in soul. So this is a, a deck that also has a really powerful top end with the dragons. Not going to be an easy one to defeat. We will go ahead and mulligan. I think everything. We could keep. I mean, you know, like we could keep a Garen. Or keep a Wolf Rider. We don't have the attack token on turn four for Wolf Rider though. Um, so you know, like we can keep like a Garen with having the attack token round five. I'll, I'll do that. We'll just we'll keep a Garen. There we go. This looks like a better opener. Zillion Swain. All right, got the uh, donation deck written down. I'll go scratching the chair. Can see the Nebastian border from here. Pass, you didn't want to attack? Why not? That was such a good attack. Safeguard our homes. We wear red to honor the fallen. Alright, so Sejuani's basically leveled up already. One down, four to go. Alright, so four five plus sharp side is a six seven. So Fear of the North not really helping me. Up there in the mountains. Two arms. With that fury with Shivana, I really don't want to block. Well, we're drawing our top end. Two Garen, two Sejuani, and a Tusk Rider. Oh, 
<clears throat> Do I want to trade Troll Chant for Sharp Sight? I guess so, because then we get a we get a Garen Strike. Cool. That was the best case scenario. I am watching you, Dragon. If I pass, they could pass also, and that would be pretty bad for me. So I guess I'll probably just need to play the Sejuani. Turns that into 5 power. A 5 3. Trying to level up the Garen. I want to attack before they could play the Eclipse Dragon. Yeah, we're a ways away from leveling up Sejuani, but if we would level up Sejuani, then the Ice Shard would definitely be really nice. Like that, that could be awesome. I was, I'm just scared of like Concerted Strikes and stuff like that. Okay, let's press the advantage. They probably play 7-7. Seven, seven. Dragons are good. It's hard to fight through. The you know, they got the Challenger, the Fury. Okay, I guess. I guess it just passed. I'm worried about fight spells, but I think we also just have to play Tusk Raider. I think that's just what we got to do. They disconnect. Okay, now they're they're here. The strong will have the spoils. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Pass no fight spells, just pass. Pass no fight spells. Just pass. Obviously a fight spell. We have single combats in our deck. Maybe we'll draw single combats. So that would be nice. They probably don't have Concerted Strike, right? Because like if they would have had Concerted Strike, they probably would have just played it last round, right? Oh, I guess they they're gonna make the they're gonna have the they're gonna have that other dragon fight spell. Yeah, so I guess Judgment's just not gonna work, is it? Judgment probably doesn't work. This will put me down to one. If I go this. We go to three, because we kill this three one over here. And we'd also kill that screeching dragon. 
and we're left looking like that at three. Okay, well. Can't really go to negative two. Judgment's out of the picture because of Strafing Strike. So it's either Flash Freeze or Entomb. If we can survive... Exact zero? Come on. Yeah, I guess it's exact zero. Darn, if we because if we could have survived, then you know, having the Sejuani. Alright, Thresh Nessus. Alright, see how we do against some smaller, more aggro stuff. Mulligan, Mulligan. I don't know. Concerned Strike could do some work. Like, it's great against both their champions. We need some other stuff early, but of course the Sentry is giving us another card draw. Like, card to draw. I only really have, like, two cards that are good against Nasus in, in the whole deck with one Concerted Strike, one... Um, that one card that can make Flash Freeze. The Emperor command. Three Sisters. Command, and so it's hard, so that's why I kept this Concerned Strike. Now obviously our first two draws being 10 drop, 5 drop. That's looking terrible. Okay, there we go. Can see the Nebastian border from here. Yes. In Avarosa's name. So because of Blighted Caretaker, that's why I offered the trade. Love that. Love that draw. That's very good against Blighted Caretaker. Alright, so we'll just do this right now. And then they don't draw a champion. They still get the 4-3 and hit me for 4. Maybe that didn't work out. I could have let them draw the champion and then block the 4-3 with the 2-1. Maybe I was just a little too hasty there with my decision. Have my 2-1 block the 4-3. And then be able to ice shard afterwards. Nothing escapes my watch. Because they have that ice shard is just a valuable card that they have so many other cards with one health, and we even we've already talked about Blighted Caretaker. I need to be more patient on that. If we can set it up, if we can set it up, then Judgment could be pretty cool for this game. Two out of five. I could see having like so. I, I was thinking about having like the Garen just challenge the escaped abomination to try to have the Garen strike um, to get go towards leveling up. But we're already at two out of five, so this would get to three out of five. And then of course you know they are again a glimpse beyond deck, and so if they. You know, if I just challenge with the Garen, they just sacrifice, you know, they just glimpse beyond the thing the Garen's attacking anyway.
resolute. Okay. Ride onward. The wicked must fall. So I'm pretty sure they have like Vile Feast. Yeah, like they want to block there with Vile Feast. Well, like, so assuming we get to do Nexus damage, then we have our Wolf Rider enabled. It definitely worse for me than Vile Feast. Kills these two ones. These two ones were gonna be nice. Man, that was good play, good play. No level up on Garen. Yeah, great play by them. Could level up Garen and kill their Thrash, but then, it, then I don't get to Wolf Rider into Scythria. But we are, let's see, Thrash is four. If I don't, I just go Wolf Rider then Scythria next round. The calm before the storm. Our spoils will rival the War Mothers. Hear that, Bristle? Bard offers a challenge. This is definitely really scary. Like, Nasus is super scary. The desert by my side. They're able to, like, you know, play a Nasus, maybe kill a couple of things. Maybe Thresh put in another Nasus. I don't know. Nasus is really scary. If I just go Scythria. We'd have two 10-10s, an 8-10, and an 8-6. And I hope that's good enough. Dive, Silver Wing. I would love having one more mana. Don't know exactly how many things they've slayed this game. I wish there was like a slay counter somewhere that we would know. You know, I guess I could have been. I guess you can always pay very close attention. Okay, just an eight-eight. Not so bad. So that would level up such one. Stand and fight. Descend upon them. I'll take this one. Ride onward. I guess I should have this the other way around. Yeah, that eight's not gonna cut it. Not enough. We Good thing that Nasus wasn't a ten ten. Or I guess. <laughs> no, no war mothers yet. We only just have the one war mother in our deck. Um, but I haven't seen it yet. This is a good quality opener. I'm going to keep it. All right, we have Ash LeBlanc. Ash LeBlanc's always a, a difficult. Uh, deck to beat. They can have their Marauders and a bunch of combat tricks for the Marauders. Let's see how we do. So 20's good. We have the attack tokens on the odd turns. Break their spirits and their With said 20, you'd rather have it on the even turns. So, of course, I didn't play the sentry there so that I would have the spell mana. Alright, so if they go troll chant, it's like 0 and 4. Like, the reason why they play that is troll chant. Um, then I could go troll chant. Yeah, I guess so we just trade troll chants. But we force them to have, force them to have it first, right? Oh, flash freeze. Flash freeze, I can just... Sharp sight, and then my life's amazing. That's much better than Troll Champ. Not and ready. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Sure. Look out for Reavers. 
Alright, well, this is looking great for us. How this has played out so far. I think I just pass. Because, yeah, I could do four damage to them, but then they have the opportunity to play things post combat. You know, things like like all the, you know, like your Legion Marauders and LeBlancs and stuff like that. Our banner will lead the way. Hold fast. Garen, of course, has regeneration, so they use another Frostbite card or something. That That's not one that I do want to trade. Like, if I... Yeah, I don't want to trade that. Man, I guess I just attack. Yeah, because we're going to have... We'll be able to rally next round, so we'll be able to play Sejuani next round. We must not Hey, Sparky, doing really good. Doing really good. Our first deck was a Kihiri deck. Our second deck was a Shady character deck. And now we're playing War Mothers with Big Scythria. And all of our decks have done well. The Winter's Claw Strikes. War Mothers! Let's go! Next round. War Mothers call. I will unite the Freljord. You die here, Queen Ash. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by! It's only if we get to next round. I don't know if we will. Put him to one. I could have challenged with Sejuani to kill him. I also have Ice Shard that can kill him. But I also want to play War Mother's Call. Yeah, Doggo's doing fine. She's just been laying back here on, on her bed just asleep this whole during the whole stream. <laughs> she hasn't moved yet. But she's doing just fine. She's just resting. You cannot stall judgment. Love it. That means... Because if they just take all the damage... Yeah, this is fine. Control Chan, of course. Oh, that's fine. Because they just take all the damage, then like I'm like kind of obligated to kill them. But we are not. Let's go, War Mothers. Come on, hit Cythria. There's only one Cythria in the deck with all the other units in the deck. We're probably going to hit like a little two or three drop or something, but... Oh, another Garen. We'll take another Garen. Line up. Line up. We'll take another Garen. No, 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 no. No. I was about to pass. I should have clicked fast faster. Because the next round we're going to get something else from War Mothers, and then I was going to be able to play Scythria, and then we were going to attack. Draven as real. All right, so we barely defeated Draven as real earlier. It was a real close game. We'll see if we can do that same kind of thing. Mulligan, Mulligan. <laughs> yeah, opponent wasn't having nearly as much fun as we were. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Destiny awaits. Ow. We'll see, of course, that may not pay pan out for me. But I 
Ballistic Bot is just real powerful, right? Like those created cards every single round we saw with the Sump Dredger right there. It's a really powerful effect. We have not been drawing well. Blighter Ravines and Ice Shards, not good against Dravens and Ezreals with three health. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. The party has arrived. Uh, right. Carved from the savage cold. Six cards in hand, just like I do, plus the two creative cards. So I can go... Protégé challenge the Sump Dredger, you know, have the Blighter Ravine kill the Sump Dredger after that. Well, they got lots of mana over here. I'm just going to pass priority and let them go to the next round if they want. Well then. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Scorcher at the Blighter Ravine. At least we did. You know, even with that, at least they haven't they haven't shown to have Ravenous Flock right now. I feel like I should just attack. Try to kill one thing. Yeah, I should attack. Bristle, attack. We do have a backup Sejuani with the Fury of the North Sejuani. They don't have any spinning axes right now. This is a Guile that was. The Thorn of the Rose created. Oh, they do have Flock. Yeah, it's their, their plan is to go wide. This is a good plan. Leave no survivors. Me down to 11. This is a good plan. I feel like I should play like the ravine on my on my round to give them more because like if I just play ravine right here right like they're not gonna play anything else so like maybe they play another three two or, or so. Yeah, Tri beam's always great. Please, no more ravenous blocks. Oh no, that two five is good. All right, pass. Yes. All right, no no more flock. Okay. Enough, I'll end this. Well, that's not great. Captain Farron always. Always being Captain Farron. Cards. Don't blink or you miss me. They're out there. 
I'll spot him. They don't know what they're up against. GG's. So we got got this deck the first time. But it looks like they got us the second time. Too many, you know, having all the arachnoid sentries and some treasures and things like that and the tribeams. Like those are those are awesome cards. Those are really, really good against other more expensive mid-range stuff. Good game. I have to say that I was impressed. The like Cythria came through, got us some got us some wins. You know, th again, three two rank uh three two record in ranked is exactly what you want we'll take that each time even like wolf rider ramping up to help us to get to, to cythria i thought that that worked pretty well and then wolf rider was a great target for whenever we did have cythria um, turning this into a very big over you know eight power overwhelm so that that worked out well so i thought i thought those two together were really good um i wasn't i wasn't impressed at all with the ravine i sharp part of our deck now we didn't face any like a really azir decks we only face like bigger decks and so they just didn't look good um but uh you know that's how it goes like that's that's just how the pairings were for us but i don't think they're necessarily they're they're not necessarily bad cards i don't know if i'd, I'd necessarily take them out uh yeah i mean we we lost to the dragon deck the dragon deck is just so good against other mid-range decks having the fury um with the dragons they're great sized they have, you know, they have, there's the ones with Challenger, the ones with Fury, they're great size, and then Demacy and Targon have all the combat tricks you want with Sharp Sight, Single Combat, and Hush. We're almost there, you know, like, we got Sharp Sight, Single Combat, Troll Chance, so like, you know, we got the combat tricks also. My opponent did a better job drawing them, but we don't have as good of, you know, like, our, our things aren't quite as big as, like, the Dragons, you know, like, the 7-7s seven and the, four, the Challengers and all that kind of stuff, so we lost that matchup, makes sense. Um, mirror match very similar type deck they went they were a little bit better than us and uh, then we went one and one against draven ezreal which is a great deck so nothing wrong with that either and then won our other two matches including against thresh nasa so um all great decks that we're playing against a very impressive three two record i'd have to say so good good looking deck there for our our cythria war mother's call um garen sejuani deck all right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Hopefully y'all enjoy the deck. Um, and of course, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.